Hello, Dr. G here. Let's face it. According to the FDA, you and I are too dumb to be allowed to access to our genetic information. You see, a company called 23andMe has provided a genetic test to see all your genes, and that's for $99. That's quite a bargain. But listen to this. The FDA shut down 23andMe from giving you the health information from this test in November of 2013. Now they're going to review it further to see if they'll allow for testing to continue. Now the question I ask is why? To me it seems as if the FDA must think the population can't be trusted with this information. In other words, just shut up and take your damn drugs as prescribed. Just think about this. What if you found out you have the Alzheimer's gene? That's the ApoE4 gene. And studies show that when you have two copies of this, it significantly increases your risk for developing Alzheimer's disease. Now, if you found this out, you might go out and cut refined sugar from your diet and hopefully high fructose corn syrup as well. You might also start taking brain protective nutrients. You might even start trying to avoid toxic chemicals and detoxifying your body. No, the FDA's message, stick with the toxic, useless drugs for Alzheimer's. There will be no primary prevention while we're in charge. This draconian action by the FDA is certainly scary to say the least. But I do want to tell you another thing. I wasn't totally on board with the 23andMe gene test. I personally didn't do the test, even though for 99 bucks, it's an incredible bargain. And it's a ton of information that when used right, could be used as your guide to preventive medicine. But the reason I didn't is my concern for privacy. I see the way many big corporations are out for the mighty dollar, and they're also out for control and power. So when I see that they're losing money doing this test, then there's obviously some kind of alternative motive. Now, I could also see the profit potential for knowing the genetic code of the entire population. Okay, here's the scenario. Let's send the guys with the baldness gene a wig catalog. Brilliant! Now, sure, this could be used for good. But when a soulless corporation is involved, you can see the huge potential for harm and abuse. The bottom line for my message today, the FDA is an out of control nanny institution that thinks you and I are too dumb to be allowed to see our own genetic code. And, and as that relates to our health. Now also, knowing your genes could be very valuable to discern discern your weaknesses and tendencies. But even this knowledge will never replace the basic health measures of getting proper nutrition, avoiding toxic exposures, reducing stress, and detoxifying your body on a regular basis. Now I want you to know there is a way to do primary prevention that's individualized for you. And that's without even knowing your genetic code. Now, unfortunately, your doctor probably hasn't heard of it. But you can find out more about it at our website. This is Dr. G. Thanks so much for watching.